The Spectral Hourglass workflow combines some of Envy's most powerful tools to help identify and map unique spectra. By fusing classification techniques, the forward MNF transform, pixel purity index, and in member extraction into a single process, the Spectral Hourglass workflow makes hyperspectral analysis more approachable for those that are still learning. A quick note before jumping into the tutorial. To use this workflow, your input raster data must be pre-processed, with atmospherics and bands removed, but not yet geo-referenced. Let's get started. You can search for the Spectral Hourglass workflow in your toolbox or find it within the workflow folder. To get started, open the workflow and select your input raster, then click Next. Forward Minimum Noise Fraction, or MNF, is the first task to run. The workflow will open the MNF Dimensionality Reduction window and display a plot of the eigenvalues aligned with your dataset bands. To see the MNF image in your workspace, click the View MNF Raster button. Here, you can exclude unwanted bands from your workflow by adjusting the Reduce Number of Bands slider. For the purpose of this tutorial, however, we will leave the default values and click Next. Next open will be the Pixel Purity Index, or PPI, window, where you can adjust the iterations and threshold. Again, for the tutorial, we'll leave the default values and click Next. Because we had display results selected within our defaults, a new PPI image has populated in the Workspace and Layer Manager. Note, while we have sped up the process for the purpose of the tutorial, it will take longer to execute in real time. Now, the in dimensional visualizer window opens next and populates where end members can be classified along with the spectral profile. Here, you can adjust the max amount of PPI pixels used within the visualizer tool. The latest Envy release includes new features and an update to the in dimensional visualizer. Let's get more familiar with them here. Starting with the toolbar, we have the following buttons. Polygon by Lasso allows the user to draw around select pixels and assign them to a class. Paintbrush. Individually select pixels for class assignment. Drive axes allows the user to manually pan and rotate the visualizer for in-member identification. Axes. You can check or uncheck this box to show or remove the axes lines. Locate pixel in inch. By clicking on a single pixel within the ND visualizer, the red crosshair will jump to the corresponding pixel on the image. Cluster. Allows the user to automatically group like pixels into classes by two options, classic and k-means. Refine allows the user to narrow down individual or all classes by their mean value or by PPI score. Collapse allows the user to group all classes, must have at least two separate classes for this function to work, by mean or by variance to the center of the axes so new end members can be more easily identifiable. The individualizer also has a properties function. Click this button and a secondary window will populate where you can adjust the following fields. The animation speed, class symbols, cluster maximum classes, cluster distance, refine distance by pixels, or refine iterations. There is also a feature in the ND visualizer where you can reset the entire plot range. In the classes window on the right hand side of the ND visualizer, you can add a new class, delete a class, delete all classes, or change the color of the current class. Below the class window, you'll find several playback controls for adjusting your field of view within the ND visualizer. You can step backwards, pause, play, using spacebar works just like other media players, step forwards, play back and forth, or create a new random projection. If you make a mistake when classifying pixels, it can be easily reverted by selecting the erroneous pixels and reassigning them to the unclassified class. You can also save, restore, and export your work within the ND visualizer under the File tab. Now the Calculate Abundances window will populate, and you can select from one of three classification methods. Mixture Tune Match Filtering creates a set of rule images corresponding to both the match filter score and the infeasibility score for each pixel compared to each end member spectrum. Spectral Angle Mapper, a physically based spectral classification that uses an ND angle to match pixels to reference spectra. Linear Spectral Unmixing, it determines the relative abundance of materials that are depicted in multispectral or hyperspectral imagery based on the material's spectral characteristics. Once you've chosen your classification method of choice, click Next. Now, the Review Results window displays Next, where you can view and modify your classification image depending on the classification method you chose. If you want to select a different method or edit in members, simply click the Back button and make your adjustments. Once you are satisfied, click Next. The Export Final Results window opens next, where you can export your work as raster images, ROIs, in members, or even Envy model or workflows to show your process. From here, click Finish to complete the Spectral Hourglass workflow and display your results in Envy. For additional information about this workflow, please visit our support section of our website. Thank you.